Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the blog Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the world. And today we are going to talk about all the tips for Mendoza, the main tips you really need to know before you travel there. When you go there, what is the best season, what's the most expensive and cheapest season, how many days to stay at, what to do, where to stay, how to do the tours, where are the wineries, the cell phone chip to use the internet there, travel insurance that's now very important because it's mandatory, you need travel insurance to enter Argentina, the exchange rate, how to take uh, the pesos and the dollars, the saving a lot, this tip is spectacular, we were surprised but it's possible to save a lot with the exchange rate, in short, all the tips you need to know to set your trip to Mendoza, so guys, don't forget to give us that like because it's very important, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us a lot and let's go buckle up! Well, Mendoza is one of the coolest places to visit, especially for those who like wine and adventure. People, it's a sensational city. It became the second most touristic city in Argentina after Buenos Aires, and it's a must in a good place. And the good thing is that it's a cheap trip compared to the other places around the world. It's considered one of the cheapest places to travel. We'll give you several tips that will help you save even more on your trip. The first tip I think is the most important of all and the one that really saves you a lot is the season. When to travel to Mendoza, there are times that are more expensive. June, July and August have snow, there are ski and snowboard tracks. So it's a very popular place for snow and also in the summer at the end of the year. December and January are school vacations in many places near Argentina. In this month, it's usually more crowded and on holidays. If you can avoid it and travel in the other months, you will be already saving a lot. Mendoza works all year round, it varies a lot during the winter, it's really cold, there is snow, but everything works, everything is very nice, so there isn't really a bad date and a good date. So if you can easily avoid these high season months, you will already save a lot during your whole trip. Just these months that I mentioned that are a little bit more crowded. And now the first item that you really buy to make the trip happen is the airline tickets. The secret is to really research the airline tickets, there's not much you can do. For people who live closer to there, it's cheaper. For those who live further away, it will be more expensive. There are many direct flights to Mendoza. Mendoza has an airport that's even considered big. It has a lot of direct flights, so research a lot, but there's also the option of Buenos Aires. Sometimes you can get a promotion, a cheaper ticket that has a stop in Buenos Aires and then goes to Mendoza or to Santiago. Research because Santiago de Chile is closer to Mendoza than Buenos Aires itself, which is also in Argentina. So there are several options that you can search and see. There is a very nice website. I'll leave it here in the description of the video, uh, the link, and in the first fix it comment for you to go and take a look. It's a website that compares all the airlines. You put this route and it will give you all the available options and you can see which are the cheapest the fastest, there are plenty of options, but the secret is to research, save the research, keep putting it uh, there and at some point you will see that there are promotions, good prices and you will get a good price. Ah, and people, for Argentina, depending on the country, you may only need your ID documents. This saves time and money for tourists for some countries, so research, see if you're available to this, because depending from where you are, you may not even need a passport, just your ID. And now for the lodging tip, how to save a lot on accommodation there in Mendoza and how the tourist area of the region works there. So let's go for the tips right now. So let's go, talking about accommodation in Mendoza, the first tip is where to stay located, which is the main region. This city is not so difficult to locate, why? Because the main tourist attraction is the center, it's there, the most of the hotels are located, almost all the big hotels are concentrated there. There are restaurants, supermarkets, and a beautiful park next door that's worth visiting. It's the tourist place of the city, so the first tip is the first place that most people go is the center. I'm still going to talk about another 
another very nice one which is the wineries but this is the main option for people what are the advantages of staying downtown if you don't want to rent a car you can set around well there are tour agencies that leave all from there they pick you up and take you to the wineries so for those who are not going to rent a car in mendoza it's a great option we think that the car is very important and makes the trip much more enjoyable but if you don't want to drive or don't know how to drive rest assured that we will explain everything very well it's a very good region for those who want to be close to everything to be close to the places not only to focus on the wineries but also to focus on the tours around the city that's very beautiful to visit the squares the park there that's sensational it's worth it to stay in the heart of the city the closer you are to the independence square the closer you are to the heart of the city it's the best location of all to make it easier for you we created a personalized map with the region that you can see here on the screen click here below i'll leave the link in the video description of this video and in the first fix it comment as well click on this little map it will open a personalized map of the region of uh, the further downtown you go you will see that most of the hotels are more centrally located any of these places are good it's a very good region and i have already left it with some settings that we use that only show hotels with a rating from 8 to 10 which are good hotels that people liked so we with these filters and this map you can choose a good cheap and nice hotel and this website which is the one we use to make the reservations is the largest hotel website in the world of course you know it we use it a lot for several reasons security it has the largest varieties of hotels very good prices but there's a very good tip for you to save money in your hotel in Mendoza or anywhere in the world that is buying in advance guys the golden tip for saving money anywhere in the world especially mendoza which is very touristy is to book in advance the sooner you make a reservation the cheaper you pay so why do we like this website so much because it has free cancellation with almost all the hotels what does this mean you log in you enter the date of your trip and see a good and cheap price people make the reservation because you will make your reservation with free cancellation this means that if you need to change later Later, change hotels change rooms you can cancel it in one click with no bureaucracy and you pay nothing for this but why because after one or two weeks if you log in to see the price again you will see that the price has already gone up a lot the prices go up so the golden tip for you to save money and get a nice hotel for a good price is to do it as soon as possible this is the golden tip I'm going to talk about the, uh, the other region, but for those who want, I'll leave here below the link of the two hotels that we found sensational. They are two great options. One is a more fancy hotel, one of the most fancy hotels in Mendoza, but it's not expensive because Mendoza is not an expensive city. It's a chance for you to stay in a five-star hotel for a cheaper price than around the world. It's superbly located and spectacular, and I'll leave the link of a hotel that we stayed in that was half the price of this hotel, which is a very good one, well-located close to everything take a look at these two hotels one of them i know you will like it it will fit your trip and they are very good and there is another lodging option that's very nice too i think it's worth it especially for those who like wine like wineries mendoza is practically the center of south america for wines there are many wineries and the landscape is beautiful because besides the wineries there are the andes mountains which is formed around the city so it's a spectacular scenario and there are many wineries there are more than 1500 wineries and some of them and some hotels offer this combination hotel and winery i'm going to say bodega okay because there they will call it bodega so that you can get used to it the wineries there are called bodegas in argentina and in spanish so this is a very cool experience and it's not expensive the cool thing is that it's not expensive you will eat well you will taste the wines from the place guys it's a very nice experience i'll leave here below in the description also the link of a sensational wine hotel in our opinion which was amazing okay guys it's a great option look at the pictures for you to see how beautiful it is is it's close to the one of the three wine regions because there are three regions there which in my opinion is the coolest to know the one i most recommend which is Luján de Cuyo it's a very nice region because it's 30 kilometers from the center this hotel is 20 kilometers away so you are close to the center of Mendoza it's a beautiful region you are two three minutes away from the main wineries so you can get around super easy it's a sensational option take a look at the price you will be in the middle of the 
beautiful movie sets what are the drawbacks to stay in the middle of the wineries you need the car because to take a cab to go downtown to come back to get around it's very complicated so to stay in these regions of the wineries we recommend you rent a car which is in our opinion the best option and we will explain you here how it works how to get the cheapest car but for this type of lodging it's really necessary it's almost mandatory that you rent a car for you because otherwise it's going to be very expensive and guys any questions you may have send them to us we are always trying to help we really try it's even easier and faster add me on instagram at pilotenzi send me a direct message with your question and i'll help you it's taking a few days because there are many messages but i really try to help and take the time to follow us there because we're always traveling around the world offering the coolest travel tips and a family routine with our little ones which are a blast and our new youtube channel the familia lorenzi if you can afterwards subscribe there give us a hand we are showing our routine here in Orlando, we are living in the United States, we are showing our visits to Disney parks, which is right next door to the other amusement parks, our routine here at home, it's pretty cool, follow along and I think you're gonna like it, so please subscribe to the channel. Now talking about the car, we said the car is important because no matter where you stay in Mendoza downtown, in the wineries, the car ends up being very good and why? The town of Mendoza is beautiful, the wineries are sensational, the most beautiful ones are far away from the center, so to visit the wineries, start there, if you want to visit the wineries, the car helps a lot because it's very difficult to get transportation, unless you do the tours with an agency, you have that option too, we will explain it here, but most people like to have the freedom to move around, there are mountains nearby there is the highest mountain in the world the region is too beautiful to be explored by car so most people who go to Mendoza rent a car and it's very cheap in the whole world Argentina is one of the places that has the cheapest car rental that's why people end up choosing it it ends up being cheaper and you have more freedom our tip the best place to rent rent at the airport as soon as you arrive pick it up and go to your hotel it's very easy there are several rental companies at the airport and the golden tip to save money people first thing don't rent there on the spot which is double the price i'm not kidding when you get there it's double the price and sometimes there is not even a car available book as soon as possible again in advance is important and before at your house do everything on the internet there's a website there is sensational it's a tool that we discovered years ago it's a car rental comparator i'll leave the link here below for you you go there you put mendoza airport the amount of days it does a search in all the car rental companies at the airport and shows you all the prices guys this is sensational because we end up doing a quick search you will see the cheapest prices it has cheaper prices than the car rental companies own website because they are the biggest in the world they have a lot of negotiation with them the prices are really good it's the cheapest place we always do it there give preference to the big car rental companies okay and the most known ones to avoid a little bit of a problem but this website is very very good i'll leave it here for you below you just need your valid national driver's license and a credit card okay so if you have these two documents you will be able to rent there without any problem the roads are good they are simple you just have to be careful because sometimes they are dirt roads near the wineries they may not be so well signposted but we found it easy we didn't see any problems to get around there so you just have to pay attention to the signpost and you're gonna be fine and the tools rest assured that most of the car rental companies already put the sticker there that's like a free pass you pass through the tools easily and then at the end when you return the car they charge the tool on your credit card and they are not expensive either the tools were much cheaper than i thought they would be so it's not a big cost that you have to worry about i remember which was pretty cheap so you don't have to worry about it it's nothing to be worried and the question I get the most about car rental in Mendoza Oh, Gabriel, but I'm going to drink, what do I do? Am I going to drive? To be very honest, we didn't see any police People didn't report police, breathalyzers, inspections, nothing But it's logical that there's a big question of security, common sense So what did we do? One day during the trip, a person does not drink Or at least only tastes the wines, tries a little bit and eats Stay there for a while, enjoying the winery until the time of alcohol has passed 
all with common sense and safety of course you can't drink and drive away because the roads there are good but you always run the risk so have good sense be aware reverse it when you go with a couple it's more difficult but if you go with friends you will have four people which winery you visit you will have to slow down one of you will not drink drive and then change in the next day you can take turns and do it in a nice way but always for the love of god safety first guys don't go drinking and driving because this can be dangerous it can put your life at risk so please don't do that now the food food is not expensive there you get out of the tourist zone a little bit of course if you go next to a tourist center the parks the museum you will get restaurants with more expensive prices if you explore the little town get some more local restaurants the prices are not expensive you can save a lot there are plenty of grocery stores so when you arrive you buy a lot of things at the market leave them at the hotel and you save a lot so you don't have to buy food all the time the tourist places because the price is a little bit higher and using a use of wines you are in the wine region the Malbec is one of the main ones there you will see that the price is very cheap sometimes it's cheaper than soda than a coke so if you like wine enjoy it because it's a place where wine is really cheap guys you can drink a lot of wine it's very good and now talking about the tours how do the tours how to save money with the tours in Mendoza there are many things that you won't need to pay anything for because it's a beautiful and charming city there are monuments you will see that there are many parks the San Martin Park is huge there is even a place for a car to pass in the middle of it you can go there either by car or on foot so explore the park it's very nice the Independence Square the monuments are already free tours and if you have a car you won't pay much to go to the wineries you buy the wineries directly from the website and you pay a little bit cheaper and also the more distant tours the high mountain tour I think it's a little risky to go by car I recommend you to do it with a uh, travel agency guys the agencies are more specialized you will go more relaxed they already know the stops where to stop what to see there are a lot of cool things around there the Andes mountain range surroundings that uh, the city is beautiful there are so many sensational places that sometimes we don't even know or see but the people there are already used to it and can tell you better but there are two tips one there's a very good agency that we like I'll leave the link below for you here in the description of the video guys they help you organize everything make the tours to the wineries they pick you up and take you back to the hotel they take you to the high mountain tours because for those who don't know Mendoza has the highest mountain in the whole southern hemisphere it's a very famous tour very cool there is a beautiful lake on the way it's very movie like and the agencies do these very nice tours this agency is very good check it out with them but there is also another website that's very good which is the biggest ticket and tour website in the world it also sells these tours it sells the tour to the wineries with wine tasting it also sells the high mountain tours check it out because the website is very good and sometimes has a better price and this website also has a transfer service if you're not going to rent a car this is the place that has the cheapest transfer to go from the airport to your hotel and then back from the hotel to the airport guys it's a very good tip we've heard a lot of cab drivers that charge twice or three times as much so hiring the transfer is cheaper safer and you get rid of any kind of scam some people have problems with taxi drivers so with an agency you don't have this kind of problem a tip to save money but i think it's not worth so much in the wineries you can buy the package just to see the winery to do the tour but i think it's worth paying a little more and get the package that has the wine tasting and at least you want to uh, do the package that has the wine tasting and lunch the food is spectacular it's delicious it's very nice so i know you want to save a lot of money but if you can set aside a little money to visit a nice bodega bodega is the name they call the wineries there so you can at least do it in one because it's a delight the food food and the wine tasting the food is all homemade they make it on the spot there is a chef in the house it's a different experience i think it's worth paying a little bit more for at least one of them guys because it's all very tasty very good and i think the experience is amazing 
Ah, a very important tip, travel insurance. After the pandemic, travel insurance there became mandatory. International travel insurance, we have always recommended it for anywhere in the world. Do not leave your country for a trip abroad without international travel insurance. Why? It covers you for any assistance, hospitalization, medical consultation that sometimes is a fortune abroad for a very low price. Guys, travel insurance is really cheap, so get yours. Now it's mandatory for Argentina, so I'll leave here below a website that we use that is a comparator. It's an amazing tool that in 10 seconds compares the price of travel insurance in all the biggest and best insurance companies on the market and shows you the lowest prices, the best ones. Check it out. We have been using this website for years. It's the cheapest place by far and it's reliable. The chat is very fast. You can ask questions, ask how the restrictions are, what insurance you need to take out. They really help you. So check it out. It's the cheapest place of all. You will pay very cheaply for your travel insurance. The last one we saw was $2 a day, a good travel insurance with all the covers. So it's not expensive, guys, and it's something that can literally save your life because a hospitalization abroad is very expensive. Another tip is the SIM card. To use your cell phone abroad, you will usually need to activate international roaming with your country's carrier. This is usually the most expensive option. Some operators offer a nice package, a promotion, check it out beforehand. But usually roaming is more expensive. People buy a prepaid chip to using the place where you will travel, in this case Argentina. You have two options. One is that you can buy the chip there and when you get there, you go to a store and buy it. It's the option that's a little bit cheaper. It's really cheaper, but in our opinion, from our experience we didn't like it very much because we have to go to the place we spent uh, uber to go to the store that we had seen that was there in the mall then you have to communicate in spanish buy configure the internet failed for two or three days we paid cheaper but it was not such a good experience we spent about two hours of the day to go wait be served configure install and i think that the time of the trip is a sacred time you are already paying so much for the trip that any hour saved makes a difference so while we prefer is to buy the chip before we leave our country there is a very good company that you buy it from and they deliver it to you very quickly they are very good when you arrive in argentina you already have internet and you can use it when you need it i'll leave the link for them below as well take a look check the prices they are very good the service is good talk to them on the chat they give you any support it's very nice and there is already the eSIM chip which is the electronic chip if the cell phone is one of the newest in the market you don't even need a physical chip they send you a QR code by email, you install it and use the internet easily. The internet there really makes a difference and you will use it a lot during your trip to take pictures and talk to the people. Argentina is different from everywhere else in the world. This exchange rate tip is an exception. We always say to buy beforehand to go with the country's money. You will travel more relaxed, more comfortable. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. Now, for Argentina, I'll summarize it quickly how as not to get too bogged down here. The Argentinians love the dollars. They save in dollars, they keep dollars, and the Argentine government tries to weaken this by trying to discourage the dollar, to weaken the dollar, to strengthen the Argentinian peso. They don't have much success with this. So what happens? They advertise an official dollar exchange rate that's not true. The official exchange rate of the Argentinian peso is kind of fake in, in quotation marks. It's their official exchange rate. For example, I'll give you an example here. I'll give you an example in dollars, but it applies to any currency. It works in the same proportion. One dollar today, it's worth 140 Argentinian pesos. This is the official exchange rate. If you go to a currency exchange office, you will find this value. If you use a prepaid credit card there, this will be more or less the rate used. It's one dollar, it's equivalent to 140 pesos, right? Now, there's a currency exchange there which is called Cambio Paralelo. It's called blue. If you go to see the blue Argentine peso, the rate here is giving one dollar. It's worth 289 Argentine peso it's more than double this is crazy what's happening everybody's giving this tip because it's really a tip that makes you save a lot so use the parallel exchange it's not illegal it's because people see the value of the dollar different from what the government shows so it ends up having this absurd and blatant difference so how do you get this parallel exchange the blue exchange there are two ways we prefer the second one the first is to go to an informal exchange house called cuevas the cuevas on Florida Street, which is a very famous street, Florida streets that are many. You will see when you go there on the street, you will see that they are talking, exchanging.
changing cambio cambio blue blue they will take you to a place it looks like a movie they go into a very formal office sometimes it's a little scary but it's kind of common there and sometimes the official rate is on the door but inside they give you the blue rate and you can exchange it with you either uh, dollars or whatever currency you want you get the argentinian peso which a much better rate it's double so with this option you save a lot more but this is an informal way we don't recommend it sometimes you can be scammed with counterfeit bills there are a few drawbacks there's a sensational tip nobody understands why but there is western union it's a very good company it's international they have them everywhere in the world and they offer the following service you pay in your country an amount a value for example five hundred dollars and then you send it to another country you send it to argentina in argentine pesos and then you get there you go to a western union store which has several stores and you get your money there at the counter but what happens is that they are using the peso the parallel dollar the blue so everybody's using this tip because it's a trustworthy company the bills are official you will hardly have problems so this is our tip do some research use the western union they are very good they are reliable in other places we don't recommend so much because it makes no difference but for argentina it's very worthwhile you will get a rate that's half if you're going to spend a thousand dollars of money on your trip you are going to spend five hundred dollars that's a lot of difference that will make you save a lot you have to pay attention to that because it's a form of saving money that's not illegal it's totally worth it you can get more money for you to spend during the trip use the dollars the blue quotation that's going to be way better for your entire trip and people here below i'll leave all the links it's a guide for you to plan your whole trip spending as little as possible in the places that we discovered there over time which are the cheapest for each type of service so save this video share it you can plan your whole trip with it then all these links will be here below for you to organize your whole trip both in the description and in the first fix it comment guys it will be easier to find now you just have to go there everything will be listed and that's it guys i hope you liked the video if you like it don't forget to give us that like and subscribe to the channel because that really helps us a lot and be sure to watch the other videos there is what to do in mendoza that's very good this video of what to do in mendoza i'll leave here above it's very nice it has all the tours and here below the playlist with all the other videos for you to watch so thank you very much guys and have nice trips